okay guys so we are talking about the standing waves here the standing waves are formed when two waves moving in two different direction meet each other at some particular point uh, not just point they are meeting each other in a medium here i have taken the medium as a long string on this string these two waves first is say y1 and second is say y2 now we know that equation of wave is a equation of both x and t a simple equation would be y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx correct now omega t minus kx the negative sign here represents that the wave is traveling in positive direction similarly if i write y2 equals to a sin omega t plus kx then this positive sign here this positive sign here represent that this wave is going in negative direction okay so this is a rule of thumb that if the sign between omega t and kx is negative it can be omega t minus kx or it can be kx minus omega t both means that the wave is going in positive direction while sign omega t plus kx or sign minus omega t minus kx which means if the sign between omega t and kx is same then the wave is going in negative direction now what happens when these two be waves meet at a point the resultant wave would look something like this wait, wait a minute let me draw a straight line and the resultant wave will look something like this now you might say here that these two waves look like each other how are they different from each other but mathematically if you look at them then y will be equal to y1 plus y2 and if i add these two equation i can write a in bracket sin omega t minus kx plus sin omega t plus kx and here we will use a mathematical entity named tell you about this mathematical sin c plus sin d and this entity is 2 sin c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 okay if you know this one then you can very easily write a bracket 2 sin look at it carefully c plus d that is c and this is d c plus d will be 2 omega t plus 0 by 2 and cos c minus d c minus d this minus this that will be omega t plus minus kx minus omega t minus kx so it will be 0 minus 2 kx divided by 2 and here we have equation of a standing wave 2a sin omega t cos kx yes i have noticed that i have removed this negative minus term from cos but cos minus theta i hope you know this one already cos of minus theta is also equals to cos theta so the simple standing wave we have here is y is equals to 2a sin omega t cos kx and this is a general equation of standing wave so now we have two things one is a normal wave which is a sin omega t minus k
and the other one is y is equals to 2a sin omega t cos k. Now, although these two waves might appear to you exactly the same, one is this and another one is also like this. But there is a distinct thing about this one that is, look at this term. This is an independent term only depending on x. Correct? This will matter a lot because now for any particular value of x, x is equals to say, I am taking pi by 2k. For this value of x, pi by 2k, I will have y equals to 2a sine omega t into cos pi by 2. Now this is cos pi by 2 and it will definitely be 0. So for x is equals to pi by 2k, no matter what value of t I put here, y is definitely going to be 0. And such points in a standing wave are named as nodes. The points which will not move no matter what value of time you put in the equation. Such points are named as nodes. And you can say that these points will be where x is equals to n pi by 2k. For all those points, y will be 0. For any value of time. Okay. So, how does it behave differently from normal wave? Well, let me show you that part also. See, a normal wave, after a small moment of time, will look like this to you. I hope you are getting it. A normal wave moves in forward or backward direction. Let's say this one is moving in forward direction. So, a normal wave will move forward in a small time. In the next moment, it will appear to you like this. See what I am saying? The wave is moving forward. Further, in the next moment, the wave will go like this. This is how its propagation will appear to you, moving forward. While for standing wave, things will be quite different. Uh, let me show you this one also and let me zoom it out a bit. Okay. So this is the standing wave. I have already told you standing wave have nodes. Nodes are the points which do not move. Nodes. Nodes are the points that do not move, which means during its propagation, they can't go upward or downward. Look at this wave. Every point is moving upward and downward. Look at this point. This was here originally, then it reached at this point, then it reached here, and in the last one, it probably reached downward. So every point is going up and down. But in standing wave, the next moment, the wave will appear to you like this. It is no more a wave moving forward. It is something moving at its own position. The disturbance is not going anywhere because this disturbance basically is an addition of two disturbances which were moving in opposite direction. Let me remind you. I drew this already for you in the last slide that these were the two disturbances moving toward each other y1 and y2 and they have formed this is standing wave. In the next moment the wave might appear to you like this. A straight line. In the next one 
it more go like this then it will go further in the opposite direction and finally reaching its full stretch in this direction so this is a standing wave now this point actually moved from up to down here it came here then it came here 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 finally here. while this one didn't move at all and this one moved but not to a maximum amplitude it moved to a certain extent so in standing waves different point can have different amplitude this one has the maximum amplitude which value is 2a this one has the minimum amplitude the point which moves with maximum amplitude are called anti nodes while the point that do not move at all are called 